Hi there, I'm Jason and I design models to 3D print. In my last video I designed a birdhouse for chickadees and I thought it would be fun to design a bird feeder that matched it. After making a quick sketch to give me a guide, I opened up Blender and started 3D modeling. I always start by blocking out my basic shapes, usually making several changes as I go along. My sketch gives me a good starting point, but the final product often has several differences. I try not to be tied down to any one idea. Sometimes 2D ideas don't always pan out in 3D. For instance, later on in the design process of this bird feeder, I realized that it was pretty short. So I went ahead and scaled the height of everything to make it more accessible for the birds. When I first got started with design, I was often too invested in the concept and the initial ideas to change things and make them better. I feel like this can hold back the potential and sometimes the functionality of a new design. Here I'm working on the roof frame and I don't like how the curved ends look currently. So I end up removing them and add them to the angled part of the roof instead, which ends up looking much cleaner. Just like the birdhouse I designed in the last video, I'm adding a variety of textures to the different parts which makes them visually more interesting and also seems to add some strength to the 3D printed components. I also added some fake branches so that the birds have a place to land before grabbing some food. Stay till the end of the video to see some birds trying it out. Here's where I make the bird feeder taller like I mentioned earlier. And with that adjustment, it was time to export all the various pieces so that I could 3D print them. After printing all the various components, it was finally time to light it on fire. No, 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 I'm kidding. Please don't do that. This is just how I clean up any stringing from the printing process. It's now time to glue up the roof, which I'm doing using some high heat hot glue but super glue or epoxy would also work here. Then I can glue the roof to the bottom frame. This glue says it has about a 45 second work time, but that always seems to go too quickly. With the main assembly glued up, I can then attach it to the cobblestone base with, well, some more hot glue. I then assemble the tower for the top of the bird feeder using some more molten glue before gluing each of those fake branches into place one by one for the little birds to perch on. I added the threaded screw to the base before heading outside to get the feeder all set up. I designed a few different base options that allow you to mount this to either a fence post, a metal pole, three quarter or one inch, or you can use the angled bracket to mount it to a wall, which if you use that option, you will want to leave off the back fake branch so that it can sit flat against the wall. With the feeder mounted, it was time to fill it up. I calculated the volume of the feeder so that you think I'm smart, and I designed a scoop specifically for that amount of bird seed. And with that, the fantasy themed bird feeder was done. Now all that was left to do was to wait and see if any birds would actually use this thing. I kept peeking my head outside and first thing the next morning, a blue jay was happily helping himself to some feed. Throughout the day, I saw a few different birds, including more jays and some chickadees. By afternoon, we had attracted another little bird, which I thought might be a finch, but after a little research, seems like it could be a pine siskin? If you know what this bird is, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing. It really helps me out. Also, if you want to 3D print this bird feeder for yourself, the files will be available for our monthly supporters and merchants for this December at zygit.com, or you can pick up the files separately. Thanks again for watching. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you want to see me design next. Bye!